Okay, welcome everybody. Um, I, as chair, I will open the uh, Monday, December 20. Uh, this is 25th. <laughs> Quite. December 16th, uh, meeting of the Sustainability Commission here at um, the Drummy Room at Town Hall. And I will uh, just go around and introduce. We here to have a new member. Um, so I'm Peter McFound, the chair. Brian Dunn. Heather Miller. <coughs> Joe Shimada. David Ruggiero. Emily Shea. John Apria. Corey Lumba. Mark Vigiani. Joe Collins. Welcome all. Um, so, you know, we left off last meeting talking about what we do for uh, <coughs> subcommittees. And I think uh, it was talk John and I were talking about um, prioritizing certain committees. And I think what we should be doing is um, prioritizing um, the action plan. And we've done a lot, of, we have a rough updraft, uh, uh, draft of the, uh, you know, using the spreadsheet, what we thought were special interests and things like that. So I think what I'd like to do is get, um, and we can have as many as we want on the subcommittee, but uh, at least four people together, uh, John and I will think about taking that on. Um, if a couple others want to join us, and we'll start um, working on this, uh, the plan, and then um, hopefully get something together for, for January, and we'll start having a rough draft. And my feeling is it's basically the skeleton or the framework uh, that we'll be developing over the next, next month. And what I think is as we work out in the game, well, the goal is to get this done for town meeting in May. So if we get the framework done for the uh, plan in the next month, and then as far as like subcommittee start meeting, and then we can start building the narrative and putting some meat on the bones as far as that goes, and hopefully by April we'll have a pretty good idea of what we're going to present to town meeting, and and April will be kind of like you know uh, fine tuning it, you know getting the presentation down. Because, you know, if we go for a town meeting, what, five, ten minutes? Mm. Usually five minutes presentation, ten minutes you can get an extension to. So, I mean, presentation has to be pretty well boom, boom, boom. Um, as, far, as far as that goes, you know, half dozen slides as far as all that goes. So we got to be pretty well, you know, um, get it, you know, the plan of the plan. We can present the plan in writing at town meeting. But the thing about it is our presentation is not going to cover the whole plan. But we'll just kind of give them the idea of what we're going for, what our main goals will be, and things like that. So I'd like to get that going, fat, you know, accelerated so we can get that going. And the other um, subcommittee, I, I think, that I know there's a lot of interest in is education and outreach. So it, it, to me, um, I, you know, you can have your everybody else's feelings about it, but as far as outreach, it, it, the education, I think we have to, in the education subcommittee, I'd, I'd like to see is develop the make metrics, um, uh, how we're going to, you know, it's, it's going to be the roadmap of, you know, what we do with the plan, um, but how, you know, how we're going to, you know, talk to the community, um, and then, um, you know, we also want metrics that, you know, and the question comes to what success look like? What's the goal going to be? How are we going to measure to get to the goal? Um, you know, as far as all that goes. So, I mean, that's just a couple of ideas I have about the, for that. But as far as, um, you know, what transpires, um, you know, that's up to the subcommittee to really flush out one um, anything else. Okay. Dave? Question. Uh, <clears throat> presentation of the town meeting, for what purpose? What official purpose? Just to roll it More out? More of introduction yeah. and kind of, you, you know, here we are, um, kind so of things. To I'm oh. to, oh, sorry. Okay. John? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't oh, I was going to say, to that end, just another thing I would put on the education, just thinking about in some respects, this is also a PR thing of like trying to get people like, interested. So, like, what can we do to lay out things between January and April 
in May, so when the town meeting does happen, it's not the first time people are even hearing about it, but is there some, whether it be like editorial things, I've even gotten questions, I know John, you have two of people being like, well, what is that? Like, what are you doing? And instead of us spending that presentation trying to explain who we are, I think we'd rather be spending that presentation talking about what we want to do. Like maybe there's, I wonder if there's ways we can look at. Are, are we educating meeting. town meeting members before the town meeting? Yeah. And that's, well, that's the I, well, so it's, it's one of these things where, you know, we have what we call, a, a, you know, a listening session. You know, yeah. we could talk, you know, and we could probably do that early March. And, uh, you know, we just, you know, start talking, you know, have a public meeting, invite every, you know, all, all of interest. Um, and then we can just, you know, go through... Um, hear what they have to say, and then we can kind of, um, I, this would, it kind of, the talking points would be what we're interested in, you know, as far as goals go, um, and then let's hear what other people have to say, or, you know, you know, I mean, I'm not going to speak for anybody, but I, mean, I, I think there's a lot of <clears throat> interest has already been, we've kind of brought a lot of it up. Um, you know, as far as listening to other people, and get consensus going. Yeah, I think that's important for people in the town. Maybe there's a, a couple, but for people to feel like they have input, if like that they know, first of all, what this group is, and then if there's something that they're not covering or they just want to show support, that they feel like that there's input from the public on that so that it's not just us saying this is what we're doing without oh, sure. with that movement. Yeah. So I think those listening sessions would be important. Then the town meeting, you could talk about how this comes from Right, this group, but also from. So we just get to have that early enough that you know we can do something with it because it's like too late. Uh, <clears throat> like even February would be a good time for it because if we wait, you know, like I said, we need to be pretty well sure what we're going to be doing in April because you know we have to. Um, you know, it's like not that we have to have a final report until the second Monday of May, but. You really, <coughs> my throat's drying up here. <laughs> we probably want to have it far enough out, though, that we had some idea right. of what our priorities were so that we could talk about that and then kind of get input. Yeah, we don't want to be down too far down right. into the plan before we get public input. And we want to <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. start formulating, you know, and a good time to put what we're thinking about and getting feedback at that time too, not just listen to what they have to say, we kind of present what we're, we've heard and, um, you know, John? Yeah, back to, uh, to his question. So at the beginning of every um, annual town meeting, the moderator basically stands up in the beginning and asks, does any committee have an update? And um, usually five minutes and not every committee stands up, usually only one or two committees stands up. And usually it's the newer ones just to introduce themselves and such. Last year, the Trails Committee stood up. Joe Greeley stood up and talked about the Trails Committee that the town has. At the time, they were like maybe 12 to 13 months old. Um, so the timing will fit good for us to stand up and uh, just talk briefly about, about the um, committee yeah. or commission. Uh, one of the things, the, um, the, um, the outreach, education and outreach subcommittee can do as well as um, present to the Board of Select people. So that's a um, you know something that they can do initially, like in the March time frame, February March, um, in regards to we're planning this public hearing. So you're advertising for the public hearing, um, you know, and it's live on NCM. A lot of people tune in for that. Um, you know, letters to the editor or, or an article in the Norwood Record, and then additionally, you know, we could go back to the board of select people and do that five minute presentation right before town meeting. That's another way to uh, drum up publicity. Mm -hmm. And I think I know the answer, but just to be clear, is there's nothing to be voted on from this committee at town meeting because it's just going right to Tony, right? There's no... no we're an advisory. So, so the, the action plan doesn't have to be approved by the town. Meeting. Yeah, hopefully it's printed off, you know, however thick, and there's like 200 copies printed, maybe not the most sustainable. Maybe we can get 100% recycled paper. <laughs> but, you know, we get 200 copies printed at the table, so... 
um, for, for non-town meeting members here. When you walk into the auditorium in the high school, there's usually a table about this size with a bunch of handouts, like updated financial sheets or, you know, there's a community walk next week or whatever information sheet to what's going on in town. So having it on the table at town meeting, we could also maybe have like a nice plaque or something with a QR, like here's the link to the, the site, you know, because we'll have it, hopefully Joe will have it uploaded to like the town website by then as well, you know, we can yeah. have a link to the town website, go green and download the, <laughs> the PDF, do the PDF or whatever, yeah, <coughs> instead of having like a huge stack of paper sitting there, but either way, it will get the message out, yeah. And that's one thing the education committee can also do is develop the, you know, what we want to have content on, um, website, you know, the town website, you know, social media things and things like that. I mean, it's not like we have to have it done at it by a certain time, but it's something that can be, you know, timelined as far as that goes. So, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, that's just something else. That, so, and then in the meanwhile, you know, the subcommittees that we were talking about last time too, can be meeting. It's just, I, I think these two need to focus and be the, our main focus and the other ones kind of start work can start working and I think once we get the, f the, the plan done I think it'd be a lot easier to talk about the subcommittees too I and mean, you know where you can start fitting things in so as far as that goes so I, I just think that's probably the best way to accelerate the plan you know getting that plan you know a drafted up in a, in a format so everybody can kind of get an idea of what you know you know the starting point as far as all that goes. And the education committee can, you know, start with, you know, working on that plan. So I know, uh, I, I, you know, it sounds like it, <coughs> most all, everybody on board with this, yeah. you know, That's as far right. as that goes. Um, I did, I meant to look at the, who was, um, <coughs> they're interested in the education. I know it was four. Brian. Yeah, it seems like there's yeah. Emily, uh, Joe, I Mark, am. and Brian. And I, yeah. Is that right? And I buried my spreadsheet. <laughs> John's going to yeah. copy. Yeah. 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 <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, at the bottom, Emily, Joe, Joe Mark. Mark, and Brian. Yep. Seem reasonable. Yep. You guys want to take that? Yep. yep. And I figure the rest of us want to work on the plan. I don't know if that's, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. You're invited. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it'd be great to have you be part of the education subcommittee yeah, if you're right. willing, because you bring <coughs> a yeah, different I'd perspective. I think that could be yeah. really helpful in getting the word out to your peers and mm -hmm. through the schools and stuff. Yeah. I just kind of want to learn more about like what exactly what we'll be doing. So I just want to like listen in a little. Yeah, definitely. Guess what? We're all we're all figuring it out. Right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here. We're not too far ahead of you. <laughs> So, believe me, we, we might have been meeting for a few months. We're just getting to the point where, okay, we're starting to make decisions here mm -hmm. and moving forward. So it is, there isn't a lot of uh, um, background to fill you in on, mm -hmm. but um, I, mean, I keep filling up the folder, but, I, you know, that's, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> as far as all that. Um, I... Um, I don't think anybody else attended this, but the um, there's the and also a, um, a new initiative going on. If you heard about the ARP age friendly, mm -hmm. I know your dad was there. Yeah. He sat right in front of me. <laughs> but um, the that it, it's an initiative that in the United States ARP. <coughs> I, know, I know most of you don't aren't qualified for it, but. Um, uh, they're uh, taking up the age-friendly initiative. The state has taken it on, and so has the town. Um, so th that's uh, something that where if it works for the kind of like the fallback thought about it all is that it works for the it works for the elderly. It works for everybody, and it talks about transportation issues and housing issues and health issues. So there's a lot. It's not like it's. Um, Mutually exclusive. There's a lot of uh, you know <coughs> similar subjects that you know we'd be talking about and they'll be talking about, and, and as far as that goes, so it's not 
that far out of the, our, uh, um, you know, it's a parallel universe to us. So as far as that goes, and um, something that will be uh, relative to us at a certain, you know, <coughs> at, certain, at certain points. Like I said, certain subject matters that we're talking about. Um, so just that, uh, to put that out there. Um, uh, so, and they're doing, they're just starting up too. So um, that's a, it's a, something I've been involved with uh, as another you know, special interest of mine. But um, so, and they're, you know, they, <coughs> they had their first listening session last, last week and they probably have a couple more. Uh, I, I think they're trying to get some in January, one at like the library and then maybe uh, someplace else, I don't know. Uh, two more, I think, somehow, but um, just just uh, put that out there that there is something else going on. It's um, so going some <coughs> <comments. coughs> So going back to the subcommittees, did we decide that everyone who's interested in the education piece is at the subcommittee? Yes. And then yeah. should we decide who's going to be on the dra drafting of the plan subcommittee? Well, Wasn't else? John, myself, yeah. Emily, and Dave are the other four that hadn't picked. Oh. Yeah, it's me. No, Heather. I think Emily's yeah. on Emily yeah, I'm on education. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I, just I, I, I went the other right. way around. I'm I sorry. Sure so who's on, the, yeah, who's on the outreach again? Sorry. Outreach? I'm sorry. Uh, Emily. Or I'm sorry about the other way. Emily, yeah. Emily and Heather's columns right next to Every other? So, yeah. Joe, Heather, Mark, Dave, and Brian. Right, Emily, <laughs> Joe, yeah. Joe, Mark, 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 Brian. Brian. Okay, so the plan will be Peter, Emily. John, Heather, Dave. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, and you get to choose. And you get to choose. <laughs> you can yeah, lean towards it's education, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be good too. I think I'll reach too. I mean, the thing about it is, it's social media, it's right? Um, it's always good to have a generational. You know, I mean, what we're used to, how how we're used to communicating, might not be the most uh, popular. You know, as far as you know, things that we Modern. like. I mean. We used to communicate over the like, rotary dial phone. <laughs> so that's what I grew up with. Um, so, uh, you know, so uh, communications change, people, and there's uh, better connectivity. You know, generate, you know, certain generations have a different way of, you know, like I said, communicating. And, um, it's good to know as far as that goes. So, it would help with the outreach. Making sure we're not missing um, a um, you know a good sized population of you know seg segment of the town population. So, <clears throat> so that being said, um, we got the first main part of this being taken care of in twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Did everyone get the Google Drive? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry to flood everyone's inbox yep. there, but that's just a way to. I basically invited everyone to all the shared folders, but it's basically a way to um, have access to those folders to start downloading and basically file, save as, and copying your notes or any you know articles or any other town uh, sustainability plans, you know, sections of those plans that you like into the Google Doc folders broken down by subcommittee. Um, the one thing, if I could have the uh, spreadsheet back, Chairman. But the one thing I was thinking about was that I think everyone signed up for Solid Ways. I didn't. Oh, um, I'm almost sorry. Everyone else For, else. for <laughs> Solid <laughs> Ways, it's yeah. Peter, Emily, Heather, Joe, John, and David. Um, we should really work through the process of breaking that up on the um, Google Drive doc. I actually broke that up for mm -hmm. individual subcommittees. So composting is one, recycling is one, solid waste reduction is one, and plastics, which is basically straws and bags, is another. And then from there, I did energy, public health, resiliency, education and outreach. Um, so I don't know if now is appropriate or not, but we should probably break 
try to break down the break down the solid waste, pun intended, <laughs> um, to con you know people so that, that want to composting. So yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, composting, recycling, solid waste reduction, and plastics. If we want to try to. Get I already actually uploaded something Perfect. To, the, to the recycling, Ooh. so... How'd it work? Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know how much space we have. Mm. Uh, probably like 12 or 15 gigs per file, I think. Or is that what, is it? I think, uh, is I think it? there's 15 gigs free for the okay. whole... Okay, that, yeah. Oh, that's fine. But, uh, it's just yeah. one folder, recycle IQ thing that I found. Nice. So, Good. I'll just X myself on that. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how to go about this or if we want to pass this around and do an X on your name for which basically we need to turn this one subcommittee into four separate subcommittees, you know? So if we want to pass it around and kind of check off your name of which one or ones you're interested in, go from there. Well, I got one, so that's easy. I'll do, um, I don't know if you have to say it, but I'm just, I'm interested in composting, so oh, I'm signing up you, Peter, for it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to compost. If, if there's right. one. So, so, so by name, yeah, it's time I messed it up. Right, so just the solid okay, waste right, things yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, if we're just breaking down instead of solid waste, I think you're saying just pick your subcommittee yeah, that you're yeah. interested, right? Yeah, the sub subcommittee. We'll probably be big enough to take like this for both in compost. Wow. <coughs> we talked about it before. You and the commission went to have uh, Mark Ryan and Sarah uh, went through a visit a meeting and a presentation on solid waste. The drive is near the kind of like I point of order stuff, I'm okay. the communication yeah. and all that. What we discussed at the end of the last meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are we all clear on just I mean sharing files is is okay in the up and up. I mean, as far as um, open, like meeting the open meeting was, yeah, yeah, it's hundred percent fine. I assumed it was because you did pull it up. Yeah, because basically we're trying to all contribute to drafting the sustainability plan. Right, right. But that's a good point. So I think the conclusion on that was that we're not subject to meeting laws. Is that right? Right. right. Because we're yeah. advising. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're in. Um, okay. Technically, just an advisory committee to yeah. Tony. So you don't have the same. Um, really, what we're doing now is actually exceeds what we are legally required to do. Okay. Uh, so when you guys meet up with when the subcommittees meet, there's no requirements. Yeah, I don't think we're asking CM yeah, to so so videotape you guys um, or post meetings. Probably so write your you guys are going to go. Here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So even and if the like, uh, education right outreach broken down subcommittee, the subcommittee, we meet energy. up, we don't need, we're not subject to yeah, we yeah. We're not we're also subject to like parliamentary. No, 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 you don't have to post when it seems like meeting or anything. Okay. The only thing is we'll do is post what we're going to meet as the monthly meeting. Right. Just so, and see, I'm not so. But you know, we should, you know, mm -hmm. um, and then I think so as a one, committee two, as a whole, we should post that. Mm -hmm. but we're after that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just you know. And the only thing is, if we want to reach out, you know, we have a listening session and things like that. We want to, you know, give enough adequate time so we can get the word out. And if you also want to be part of energy, you know, if you want people to come, right, give them enough notice. And it's usually. The timeline on that is probably three weeks out at least. Should I put mm -hmm. next up? You know, as far as you know, um, given oh, for build up. Then what? Because we, you yeah, know, we can put announcements, yep, you know, and PSAs on education and, and, and that's what record going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as far yeah. as that goes, and, right. but we have um, to get it out. This is a big one, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if we're going to do something for say January fifteenth, like we put it out in the paper this week, and so like right. the paper, is, like the records cut off is five o'clock on Monday. You know, to get it mm -hmm. in for you know Wednesday's print, um, you know, sooner the better. I mean, if we post it on Friday, you know, send it to them the Friday before, you know, we're pretty sure sure it'll get in for Wednesday. You know, the, you know if we wait till Monday, it, it could be a space issue, and you know they'll right. let it go for a week. You know, things okay. like that. You know, um, that's you know one way. It, you know. Putting it on the website, putting you know if we, you know we have social media pages we can outreach on you know, progress know it or, or um, you know as far as that goes announcing meetings and stuff like that. So um, you know so we have opportunities to do that. We just need to give ourselves enough time to you know if we decide to do that. I think if we're going to have a listening session, we probably should po you know decide in January when we're going to have it. And my feeling is. 
late February, beginning of March at the latest. Because, like I said, we still, you can't kind of walk the timeline. And it's, you know, it, we have to have time to, once we get this listening session, you know, we have to be able to, you know, study what, you know, uh, summarize what we got, see what we get, what's actionable of it, and just listen to what people, you know, to, you know, things that we hadn't thought about, things that are not of that much interest, or, you know, things like that. So, yeah. you know, that's, so we have to give ourselves enough time, and, it, you know, um, and it's not like we have to file a report for town, town meeting, but we just get up and talk a few minutes about what we're doing, what we're, you know, what we've done to date, what we're trying to accomplish, and things like that. Um, yeah, you know, so I mean, that's, you know, it doesn't have to be, a, it's, well, first and foremost, it can't be a half hour show anyways, but it just kind of get up there. Um, you know, if we have a printed materials, we can put them out for town meeting. You know, we, so we got to get up, and that's another way of getting outreach too, because right. town meeting members are usually more connected in the community, it, you know, and things, things like that. And they're going to be, this could be decision makers on things that we're going to be talking about later, you know, you know, so. If, we if we're looking for possible dates, like I assume that's something we're going to be doing before the general meeting, then running it by that education outreach, what spaces? Are we looking at to do listening sessions? Would it be here, or would it be like perks no, or well, the library, or well, the library, the well room um, that handles about seventy-five. Okay. Um, the well, Simone room at the library, and then the Willet room at the Civic handles about seventy-five. Those are pretty good spaces for, I think, what we get for an audience. Um, as far as you know, with the CPC there, you know, <coughs> people for that type of meeting. Um, which is pretty good turnout, I would think. So, I mean, those two rooms, uh, the police fire station can handle probably 75, you know. But the only problem when you go down there, it's parking. Because mm -hmm. you have to, there's no real parking at the station. It's kind of <coughs> across the street to the Shaw's. Um, uh, but those three rooms would be adequate for what we need. It's okay. just a matter of checking uh, availability, um, you know, as far as, you know, what you know, kind of come come to mind in, in January, thinking about possible dates. What day of the week do you think would work best? Yeah. Um, time in the six thirty, seven o'clock at night. If they're going to do an evening session, um, and those, I, I would say those three locations would probably work. You know, in our in our favor for availability. Um, you know, Joe, you have a. Sh well, the library is, you have to go to the library to get that. Rec That's department would be. Yeah, we can figure that out. Oh, plus, we could do this high school, too. Yeah. Um, I forgot about that. I could okay. always ask re reference libraries because I work at the library, so I can just ask them if we can do it because they can just rent out space. You just have to rent it out like a month earlier in advance. Yeah. So we could do the Simone room, and we could also um, like have like a cordial invite to members of whatever like select men or whatever, like a cordial invite. If you'd like to learn more about the Sustainability Commission, you can like come join us on this date to learn more. Mm -hmm. Could, do you mind um, the next time you're there, just like looking end of February, early March for like dates yeah. that are available during the week? Um, my, my gut would be one evening and then like one on a whole weekend, late morning, early afternoon would be good just to have those two time frames, but. Um, just if you happen to be looking at it or talking, and then we can. Well, so the high school, the uh, lecture hall, the usage. Yeah, that's that handles. That actually handles well, the mezzanine handles seventy five on the floor and twenty five or uh, fifty above, so that's one hundred twenty five. Mm -hmm. um, and that's another. Uh, well, the, the library. The only thing about the library is you're gonna push a lot of <laughs> mm -hmm. push a lot of stuff together here. Um, I like so the lecture idea. hall might be better as yeah. far as that goes because it's a set up room. I like that idea of inviting mm -hmm. certain people, like, good, like people that we all know. In the town As people who can be like decision makers on things, so that they know more about like things that we're going to be making decision that they're going to be making decisions about that will affect yeah. our committee. That can we can mail letters to all town meeting members mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's another group. I mean, you're talking select <coughs> interested boards that might. Uh, 
you know, planning. Um, and the selectmen, you know, even FinCom, you know, they were always interested. Because sometimes these things might have questions. <coughs> <coughs> I would want to know about those if that's the case. But there are some, you know, um, it'd be interesting there probably too. You know, um, that's another thing too, is, is the, you know, uh, it's kind of like when you start talking about outreach, it's, it's what the message is going to be, who the audience is going to be, when it's going to be, you know, and, and, uh, and what we're going to say. Um, I mean, those are things we have to, um, <coughs> you know, have to, you know, come up with. So, I mean, if this, you know, the best thing maybe to do is, um, I mean, not that I want to jump ahead, I mean, um, just throw out the, the next, Janu well, January 20th is Martin Luther King Day, right? And uh, so that's usually the third Monday of the month. Uh, I just put on the agenda the 13th, because it's the second Monday of the month, unless you want to go five, you know, to the 27th instead um, but that kind of works with you know subcommittees getting a chance to work um, the 13th might not I mean considering next week or the next two weeks we're kind of like everybody's going to be kind of yeah. in, in into the holidays um, and then that basically gives you two weeks come out, you know to get together and you're basically going to have like one it's probably a chance to meet once, <coughs> maybe twice. If you push, you know, you, you know, you push hard for it. Um, you know, we don't have to be just on a Monday. Um, is the twentieth not work for people, or are we not allowed to? Well, this closed? place would be. Yeah, we're closed. We're closed. <coughs> we're, we're closed. Uh, the town hall is closed. <laughs> so the twenty seventh is that? I, we 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 yeah. can go, you know, okay. it's it's you know. I, it seems like Mondays were working better for everybody here. Um, I'm not, sh you know, like I said, we don't, you know, but it's since we're up here, we can kind of, you know, talk about that now before we kind of. The 27th might be good because it might give the subcommittees that we just established tonight some time to meet and do some work yeah. in the meantime, even though it's a little over a month away. Yeah, and it's just kind of like boom, we get, you know, but. It's kind of like you have to be, like, come on the, if it's the 27th, it's kind of like, okay, um, these are the date. you know, it's almost like you pick the date by then. I mean, it's I not, um, just have everything really, like, ready to go. Yeah. Give us, like, a, give subcommittees a month to meet, <coughs> gather everything, and come in here on the 27th, it's yeah. just, this is what we have, this yeah. is, you know. And, and I would think, too, just prepare for the 27th, if you guys have got to, you know, you know, saying, okay, we've, Pick the place, pick the time, and a date. Just let us know, and then we can put it out there. So, on the agenda, so we can all talk about it then and there. It's not like, you know, we're discussing. I, I you know, my, my feeling is you guys, you know, get together, you know, fit, fit, um, what is the good time frame for it, and propose that, and you know, maybe have a, a, a fallback. Um, but then once the agenda goes out, everybody else, you know, the rest of us will know um, what you're thinking. And, you know, we can act at the meeting, okay, and then that get the notices out. And, you know, the, the whole thing is about, just to go over that, is date, place, and audience. You know, who, how, you know, how we want to, um, you know, town meeting. Um, so maybe a question for Tony is how if written you know, letters out to town meeting members <coughs> or something like that for an invitation. Um, you can ask Tony. If it's all open record, so it's probably not an issue. But I'll double check the yeah, just to how, make sure. But how do, doing a mailing more than anything else is physical. Oh, how to do it? <laughs> physical mailing of it. You know, like we decide on the twenty seventh and who we're going to invite. And, you know, there's two hundred fifty town meeting members. <coughs> uh, you know. And I don't think uh, there's a lot of emails. I mean, I, I haven't, I haven't seen a, 
<clears throat> I know we had the contact list in, in the annual report, and there wasn't a lot of uh, emails. You know, I put my email in right. there as a contact, but there were, you know, out of 250, there's <coughs> probably 50 emails out of that. So there's not really a, a viable, it's not a viable way to notify town meeting members. You know, doing a physical mailing or an invitation going out in you know, early February for, you know, for what the time we are talking about. I, you know, I know we don't, it's his budget. <laughs> Let's yeah. see what he, what he has to say about it. Okay. Let me know. One other thing John. we could do is um, the, uh, the Education and Outreach Subcommittee could also put together a survey. Um, you know, free site like Survey Monkey or whatever, put out a survey and we can just blast all the social media sites. As, as bad as it is, and I don't follow it, Norwood now has 15,000 members or followers, right, whether you're on Facebook or not. You know, that could reach 15,000 people like that. So we could put, put together a survey and blast it out to the social media and put it on the town website. Um, different boards and committees have done that in the past. Um, I'm just trying to think of the, the most recent one, Open Space Study, I forget what it's called. It was open space. Open, open space study. Was open space study. Uh, they put together a survey. And I think there was a couple thousand recipient you know, yeah. people that responded. We did it for Forbes Hill. We got about 700. Yeah, so yeah. You know, it's another way because you know, not everyone can come to a public hearing. And I think it's great that um, you're thinking about having two of them, right, a weeknight and a weekend, to try to get more um, attendees. But the survey is a great way to, to get out um, to the masses pretty quickly. Yeah. And the marketing term for it is multi you know, multi-channel, oh, yeah. you know, you know, you got printed, you got social, you got, you know, doing surveys out. And you can also do a printed survey and leave it at certain, you know, certain points where you can have available here at Town Hall, the library, the senior center. That's true. Yeah. You know, you can do print up a few, not like you can print up thousands of them. But, um, you know, um, but you have to be really quick on them. Um, you know, developing a survey because you know it takes some time to because <coughs> you um, the way you ask questions, you know, you got to ask a question in order to get, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it you know takes, do you know how to make a survey? I do. <coughs> okay. That's oh, good. <laughs> you're half with that. Okay. Good. You don't want to rely on my <laughs> skills. I've never seen a survey, so <laughs> this is what we're doing. That's we need like an expert on thing it. To us. Can I get this way? Ask you know. If you guys have other questions, you can just send them to me. And yeah. Um, so as far as you guys that, have a account with Survey Monkey or something like that? Uh, if we don't, I will make sure we get one because we need one. Yeah. Um, because Google Forms, you can do check. Oh, oh yeah. Check with yeah, Pat to Shane's. Oh yeah, they, they just did that nothing. They, well, they did one. They did, he did it through the, the town website, I think. Really? Well, and I, I, we went back and forth between Survey Monkey and, and so he can tell you what he used. Um, but that was for Forbes Hill. Right. Could um, we even do <clears throat> one of the public forums? We have capacity to do a teleconference or a call in, Skype. I think there'd be any that okay. beyond our level of interesting thought. Yeah, I mean, we I do, do that, that all the yeah. time, and sometimes it works well. I mean, the technology. Just it's sometimes it's cell phone. an embarrassment. <laughs> <for, you know, laughs> somebody's cell phone number <coughs> up and just do it I, that I, way. I, 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 not to. <laughs> To put the kibosh on, I, no, no. I'm just I, I just think it up I, there for I think I, sixty days. I don't know if we're going to have enough, you know, enough time to do it this time. I, but I, in future, I, I will, you know, next sure. time, next sure. time out. That's not for me. You know, I just I, I, I think what the education subcommittee has got to is prioritizing what you know. The closer it is getting people to it, and I I understand the thing about you know spreading the word and getting it out there. If it's something that can can be worked in, you get somebody that can do it. That's great. If you got to find somebody to do it, that's usually the the, the hard part about it. You know, it takes time to do that, availability and all that. You know, I was Joe. You were a. Uh, Teleconferencing Google or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can talk to NCM about it. Right. Um, maybe yeah. after the meeting. And Go to meeting is a pretty yeah. universal platform. Yeah, yeah. Well, webinar type of 
I mean, if, if we have two different times, at least doing one of them, maybe. I don't know. You know, right. I don't think you need to do both of them, but, um, you know, or either that, have it, you know, recorded. Recorded. Right. Recorded would be, you know, another one for replay. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so, I mean, that there are things that can be done. Yep. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big ask. So I, I just don't, you know, and you got to kind of uh, go with what you know first, and then work into those other things. Um, if you, you know, you're comfortable doing it, I'm not gonna <laughs> say never, don't do it. I just, uh, but um, you know, you got a lot to do, and I, I think you want to um, focus on your strength. What you, you know, what you know, what you know, and what you have to learn is, uh, um, for next time maybe. But that's you have. Let's say forty-five days. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever. Um, so it's a tight line, but you know you can see what how it works. Um, so. <clears throat> So as far as that, um, and then you guys can get together and you know make your what meetings you want, um, and um, hopefully you can get a couple in before the. So the twenty seventh, you think, is the date that we should shoot for for the next meeting, since we're you know yeah. that. And so then you can start working with your timeline for your your subcommittee so you can get that in. All right. Okay, and seven o'clock. Still working for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And hopefully we'll find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> as far as this, uh, the action plan goes, we'll get together um, and uh, start working on that, chewing on that, and getting it. Um, Going, I mean, I think you've seen that. I mean, from the spreadsheet, I think we're just going to be moving a lot of that along. So, as far as that goes, so uh, we just got to, I think, find a comfortable format that we can, uh, you know, work with. Um, I don't know if anybody's had a chance to look at other the other towns um, that were uh, mentioned. I mean, I did look a lot at Brookline, yeah. I like this because it kind of mimicked what we were doing as a spreadsheet, and um, I'm not exactly sure what the columns were all about, but um, I was trying to find some of them were abbreviated. I wasn't exactly sure what they were talking about as far as what they meant. You know, some of it was like short-term, long-term goals. Um, what we could do in the short term, we can do in the long term, and then some of the other columns didn't make um, a lot of sense to me yet, but I didn't really have a chance to you know, look for the doc supporting documents. Um, I think as a subcommittee, we can probably go through, like we can all kind of collect the plans that we like, and then as a subcommittee decide on what we want to use as a template. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm just, that was the yeah. one I was kind of, uh, as I say, saying to me a little bit more than the other ones, because some of them were, I, I, you know, tough to follow, so. Uh, but we'll, uh, <clears throat> this might be just putting the cart before the horse, but do we want to define like Norwood's short term? Like, is Norwood's short term, you know, 20, 25, five years out versus 10? You know, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, do we want to define it as, you know, there's 15 years long term? You know what I mean? Like, well, do, yeah. do we want to define it in our plan now? Well, no. Or are we going to take our cues from the other plans that we're looking at? Well, I think, I think. So we're all on the same page, I mean, as far as what a short term goal is. So, oh, short term is. You know, well, I, I think we have to first really define what we want to, you know, which, you know, to me, like short term is less than a year. Okay. And then intermediates three to, you know, one to three. And then, you know, long term is out, you know, it, you know, three, five years out or eight, 10. I mean, a lot of them when you're talking about, especially with climate change, you're talking 2050. Right. 
and, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> I won't give you my age at 2050, but <laughs> I won't be on the commission. <laughs> I think well, some of it might depend on like existing capabilities right. versus like we have to go out and apply for funding for something and that would take this right. amount of time. Right. Well, so that's why when I was looking into the recycling earlier, uh, just whenever I was looking into it, you know, setting a goal of a year short term to, let's say, increase recycling rates is, you know, very difficult versus like saying, oh, well, our goal by 2023 is a short term goal of increasing it from 27 to 30 percent. You know what I mean? So just trying to, I guess, I, oh, know. I know, I know, I mean, understand the language that we're trying to put out there as far as yeah. what are. Well, I, th I think once that's kind of like when we start talking, we get the framework down. Right. And then just then we kind of going to categorize, you know, OK, what is the con? Uh, what can we accomplish in the very short term? What can we accomplish in any right. in immediate? And another kind of, you know, in some things it's going to be always. So, I mean, it's always going to be there because, you know, if you don't pay attention to recycling, it, it you know, things fall off, come changes and all that type right, of stuff. Right. So, this, you know, um, so, you know, we will, it, It'll it, be it, it will be there. It's just, um, it's something we're always be keeping in mind as far as what we, you know, where, where it's going to be, and you know, you know, as far as actionable goes. Um, so um, that uh, Joe did mention to me, um, you know, we had talked about briefly before about Mark Ryan, and you know, coming on talking about you know the town's recycling program, and I think that would be a good. Um, maybe see if he's available in January and kind of get that, you know, since we're all kind of interested in some, you know, part of, uh, you know, solid waste, recycling, you know, all that. Um, you see what, you know, how the town program works and uh, especially get up, you know, because I was involved with cycling 10 years ago and what was recyclable then now is not recyclable anymore. You know, there's a lot of things, there was a lot of, you know, everything you could recycle a lot of stuff and now it's like no 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 you know all that type of stuff so um, I think it would be good to get that word out there to everybody and um, I think it would be good to also have him give us an update on everything the town's been doing because the town's doing so much more than recycling already right but right what other programs be, be just not to trash like and recycle and pick up and yeah you know it'd be good to know what the baseline <coughs> is what we're doing now so that we know what yeah, further yeah. steps we cloth, can take. Cloth recycling mm -hmm. and all that. Um, yeah. Well, composting. Yeah, what, you know, what we can do yeah. to help him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, you know, because he put out, um, and the selectmen signed off on his, uh, was more of what? Producer he, responsibility. He, yeah, using yeah, responsibility. Yeah, that's what it was. Um, you know, pushing back. You know, like expanding the bottle bill um, and uh, other th things as far as, uh, <clears throat> you know, getting the people that, you know, put the stuff in plastic, you know, or, you know, it was always the, you know, we were back in 2008, Amazon was just coming on, on coming up and it was, let's talk about how much cardboard was being, um, Put into recycling, then, and, and I think that's probably even ten times what it was back then, because it was just coming on, you know, um, you know, it was in its infancy back then. Now it's full fledged, you know. Every time you get a thing from Amazon, you know, box like that for a little thing like that. Um, so as far as that, and how much plastic there is for packaging and stuff like that. So and get that pushback to the people that you know, gener you know sell it to us, how, how they can be responsible for taking it back to us. So, um, so I, I think if, if Mark is available, you know, either that or, you know, we can, you know, February, you know, it's a matter of uh, 27th, we have first preference, I guess. And if not, he, you know, if it's not available, we can start talking about other things. I will say it sounds like our January meeting might be kind of full with the yeah. report out from the subcommittees and deciding on dates for listening sessions. Mm -hmm. I've, I don't you think? 
<laughs> it just sounds like it might be, but. Well, you, you, you know, at some, um, <coughs> I, I'll tell you, um, we ran into this at the beginning when, when the Community Preservation Committee came. We try to do everything at the meeting. Um, a lot of it is, if we have subcommittees, it's kind of like have, um, you know, one person be like chair of the subcommittee or the, you know, the point person for the subcommittee and just kind of um, give the, the bullet points to use, you know, root term, I'm summary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, get the summary of it. And, and then, um, you know, if there's any questions from the other members that didn't attend the meeting, and t take it that way so that we're not rehashing a subcommittee with nine people instead, you know, what four people of this or five people have decided, you know, t discuss for three or four hours. We, you know, if you can bring what, you know, what the summary is and, and do it in 10, 15 minutes, um, you know, I think that was, that's where we get more productive at, at the big committee meetings um, as far as that goes. And then when we have to make, you know, we're going to be, you know, we are going to be busy. We're going to be busy, uh, you know, once <coughs> some people start generating uh, activity, um, it will get a lot busier at these meetings. And I, I, more successful these meetings will be is how much subcommittee meetings get, get done. And, and I think that's where um, we'll get the biggest strides if the subcommittees can really, um, you know, hitting it and um, can just, you know, bring summaries to us as far as that goes. And, um, and, and I would encourage, since we're really not locked into, uh, you know, open, open meeting rules and things like that, that just let everybody know when you're meeting, you know, and it's like if someone else, you know, is available, you make it and they want to attend and want to, you know, you're encouraged to go. I mean, I don't think it's, um, you know, don't feel like just because you're not on that subcommittee that you can never attend one of their meetings. It's just, you know, how much time you have to do all this. Um, but if everybody just kind of lets, you know, just hit it back to Joe and myself, and Joe can, you know, maybe put out a weekly thing, you know, not that we want to be, every time that you're having a meeting, but say, you know, we, this is what's scheduled for the next, you know, subcommittee meetings this week or next week, and put one email out and, and just say where you're going to meet and what time and um, that type of thing. So, um, you know, we're not, um, you know, everybody has a good idea. You know, the communications don't have to be, there's no secrets here. Um, so as far as all that goes, so encourage communication. Uh, just don't, you know, we just don't need, you know, nine subcommittees and 81 emails going around about it. If we do it, like, kind of, if it plans it out, saying, oh, the next, just let Joe, the next time you're going to meet, and Joe can keep track of it and send an email out once a week and, or whatever, I mean, you know, you'll see what, uh, how it, you know, all falls, but, you know, we don't want to be overdoing this, but we don't want to. Uh, neglect things either. Do we want to use the calendar that came with the Gmail account that you made to oh, put in the subcommittee meetings? <coughs> you can do email too in case people prefer that, but it's also nice to have it. I just have to learn how to use Google because I, I don't have it. Uh, <coughs> I have a work email that I, I mean, work laptop, yeah. and I can't do Gmail. I mean, that on it. My <coughs> All I have is my cell phone other than that, and I can't do much with it. Um, it's a learning process. Like I, I told John when he set it up, I said, don't worry about me, I'll figure it out eventually. But uh, as far as that goes, um, but as far as calendar goes, um, if you let me know, I'm fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll email you. <laughs> and John, John, John's got to feed me the information, because I said that was the condition. He can do whatever he wants with, with Google, Google, Google Drive, just let me know. <laughs> I just got to figure out how to get it some way I, got, I can use it, because I don't have a, uh, a home laptop to 
and I can't put it on my uh, it, my laptop at work is a PC and Google Docs. Google Docs. I can't yeah. I don't, you know it's, yeah. it's be able to do you, go online to do it. I know, I know. it's supposed to be on the internet. I know, I know. Do you use <laughs> Outlook on your computer? I do. It should just go to your email then, right? If it's an in, like an invite, and if it goes out, it should just go right to your Outlook. Oh, if yeah. you send it out to the distribution list that we have, so you wouldn't sure. have to start something new. Okay. We'll I'll take your word for it. <laughs> we'll support. Like I said, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> um, it's I've always had a tough time with Google Docs trying to figure out where it is and how to get to it. So. <coughs> so, so if, if you don't hear back from me and you've done it on Google Docs, <coughs> you know why. Um, but um, you know, I'll survive. And I, 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 I've gone through enough technology. Dave probably can test to, to. We've been through enough technology changes that you know we can figure it out. Figure out how to use a dial phone and then touch tone and then uh, actually, you know migrate to a cell phone, you know, so we, we've survived these things, but it's just uh, something else, something else new. <laughs> you guys grew up with it, I, um, I'm growing old. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, so <coughs> homework for the next meeting is to continue to meet at the subcommittee level. Damn, meet as often as you can. Not not only the ones we <laughs> talked about as far as developing the plan or the education and outreach, but the other ones that exist, mm -hmm. like the newer ones, plus energy, public health, resiliency. Right, so there's a folder for all of them in the Google Drive. So um, maybe I'll give this to back over to Joe. If you wouldn't so mind just adding those you may and pushing that back Joe. out. Re resiliency. Okay. Um, oh. Okay. <coughs> And then I can just grab that from you at any time but for the next month. Perfect. <laughs> I'll be there anyway, right? Most of the time is. I think that would be helpful because then I would just kind of give everyone an Bring idea of who's on what on. committee. So just continue to Most do research. <laughs> put in those folders, and that's just going to help the committee, the subcommittee that's actually going to be building sure. the plan. Um, and then additionally, you know, if you want to do a conference call or meet at wherever, you know, just to keep the ball moving. Yeah, especially if you mm -hmm. find articles and you, you know, link the article, you know, send the link to around. Right. That's, those are helpful too. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. There's so much stuff out there to read <laughs> on every subject. Why so. the yellow highlights? Oh, what do those signify? I didn't create it. The yellow highlights on the sub, on the subcommittees are... Oh, that was um, changes from the previous Oh, okay. when we did the, not November, but from that was the change from October to November. to November. That's all, and basically it was rearranging things. It wasn't anything new. It I moved things from we well, kind of like had all these and trying to break, you know. It's not highlighting important, like not no. There's no. It's, it's not highlighting like, important. The only, the only highlighting it was, was it moved from Move, a different. Okay. It was kind of like a subcommittee by itself. Mm kind of move, try to group some things okay. um, in my mind, you know, you can see how my mind works, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. Are you willing to entertain a motion to adjourn? Um, I am not the person that you need to ask. I need someone to make a motion. A motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Yeah. All in favor. Thank you.